tested. Hi, I'm Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. Norm, we've been testing the iPhone 4S all week long, and of course, Siri is the thing that well, people are asking a ton of questions about. Absolutely. Don't say, don't say it though. What? Are you Siri? You Siri? No. You don't want me to say you Siri? I really you, don't want you to say you that. Are you Siri about that? It's never going to catch on. So you've seen a bunch of videos demonstrating Siri's basic features. Yeah. Apple put out their own video, so you know it can do things like. Remind me to pick up my car when I leave work. Here's your reminder for when you leave work. It says, pick up my car. Awesome. That's magic, yeah. right? That works pretty I, well. I need my okay. car to leave work, so I'm going to confirm you. that one. She'll remind me later. So uh, turning on Siri, activating it, it's really simple. You hold the home button down yeah. until Siri pops up, or if you put the phone up to your ear, you can disable this or enable it. It'll just turn on. So it looks yeah. like you're talking to your phone. And if you uh, launch Siri, you can actually get a list of all the different apps it can access. Yeah. Uh, it, well, and, and it's things like call the phone, play music, uh, set reminders, make appointments, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff it's built in. And if you want to drill down a little bit further and see what, what kind of messages you can give in each one, then you can even you know get down here and you can see specific things that you can say. Right, I'll give like, you examples. Reschedule my appointment with Dr. Manning on Monday. I want it to be on Tuesday. Dr. Instead. Jacoby. I don't know who Dr. Jacoby is. It's Gavin Twin Geeks. Don't worry oh, about it. Okay. Anyway, cherry pie is delicious. <laughs> it is. Mm, this coffee, unbelievable. Uh, but there's a few things that you can do if you know some secrets about mm -hmm. Siri. If you give it more context about your relationship with people and yourself, then it has more information. For yeah. example, you can tell it to call you a different name. Siri, call me Batman. From now on, I'll call you Batman, okay? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, can, can you Batman, make me, uh, Commissioner Gordon? what's next? I could make you Commissioner Gordon, or I could say, Siri, send Robin a text that says, hey, you're a sidekick. Here's your message to Norman Chan. Burn. It says, ah, super hey, you're burn. A sidekick. I did not know that was coming. Ready to send? So that was a demonstration of not only renaming okay. yourself, but yeah. also a familiar relationship Forget with friends again. or family, right. contacts. You can give everyone nicknames. Yeah, I can say that you're my best friend, and I say, call my best friend, and it'll know that Norm is my best friend. What about uh, locations? So like before in the example, yeah. work, right? It knows where your work is. Exactly. So you can tell it that, Siri, I'm at work right now. Are you? Yes, it already knows that I'm at work. Basically, you can set up your contextual relationships. You do this all with your cards in the contact list. And you uh, can actually activate it. It's all pretty intuitive. So if you yeah. mention work or home and Siri doesn't know, it'll ask you, are you at home right now? Or ask you where that is. Well, right? yeah, the important thing to do with, to make this happen is to set general, go to the general tabs, go to Siri, and then actually go to my info and set that to a card mm. that's associated with you, with your information, your home address, your work address, okay. your phone numbers, all that kind of stuff, spouse, assistant, whatever. Okay. Um, that's all relatively straightforward. So teaching Siri things to make it smart. Can you yeah. teach it things like your favorite song or your favorite album, or your favorite thing? I don't think you can do that, but you can tell it things like, you know, my father. Well, my father is Verlin Smith. You know, if you're a okay. Verlin Smith the second, me to remember then it could be, Smith is your you are your own father. I'm the third and he's oh. the second. It's not, it's okay, not, Batman. It's, I've added this relationship. <laughs> See, so she wants me, Batman, to know that my father is Berlin Smith. It works really cool. It's, it's, I mean, that's handy so then I can say, hey, call my dad. Yeah, so if you get an iPhone for us, if you use Siri, make sure you teach it these important things so yeah, that you exactly. can make it better. Exactly. You can also use nicknames and phonetic pronunciations, which are actually in the cards in the phone, to let you have problems, uh, solve problems with people that have hard to pronounce names or you know foreign names or stuff like that that, that Siri may not understand. So well. for the phonetic pronunciations, it's for both first and last exactly. name. Exactly. Spell out exactly, oh, exactly. Guillermo is pronounced this way. The other thing that you can do is if you have like five norms in your address book, you can give uh, the nickname Norm to one person, and then when you say, hey, call oh. Norm, it'll just call the person that you or, want. Or call my favorite Norm. Yeah, my favorite Norm. There's only one Norm. I have more, way, way, way more Norms. The location stuff that you can do with Siri is pretty cool too. We've seen a lot of demos for this, but you can say things like, Siri, I would like to get a cake. I found three pastry shops barely close to you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I'd rather have pie. Where can I get pie? Always a pie. Cherry pie. She's going to be really confused. The high temperature will be 64 okay, degrees. Okay, see, so you messed her up. This happens a fair amount with Siri. It's not a perfect technology, especially if there's background noise, a lot of people talking, the TV on in the background, the dog barking, you're driving down the freeway with the top down and the windows rolled down, the radio's Do on, That's more number accurate of things. with it to your he head? Um, it, it's... It's really more dependent on environment than where it is. Up to the head is fine. Talking like this is fine. Sometimes I just leave it on the kitchen table and say things like, you know, 
Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. And that's a timer starting from when you activated it, from when not you from after it. Siri responded. Yeah, so it starts, it, it, it counts the time, uh, counts down the time while it's figuring out what you were trying to say. Because the interesting thing you do have to know is that this does need the internet connection to work. So yeah. it has to go up to the internet and then come back down before it works. So it doesn't, if you're not, if you're on airplane mode, you're not on 3G at least, it doesn't work at all. Can, can Siri enable airplane mode? Can you turn yourself off? I don't know, let's find out. Siri, enable airplane mode. That sounds. Sorry, Batman. I can't do that. You know, she can't turn herself off. Yeah, it's disappointing. Now, yeah. she actually cannot shut off the phone, but she can find like Wi-Fi hotspots in yeah. the area and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, anything that's on Yelp or mm -hmm. uh, Google locations, pretty much is fair games. The other thing that's interesting is you can do Wolfram Alpha stuff, but some of that breaks down. So you can yeah. say things like, you know, uh, convert nine yards into furlongs. Do you know what a furlong is, Norm? I don't. I found this for you. Yeah. The problem with this is that it doesn't actually read the response. It just so shows the, the Wolfram Alpha search result. Yeah, it's just showing you an image of the Wolfram Alpha wow, search result. Okay. Even. It's not even, it's you just can't it. select it and, and copy and paste that text? No. Oh, uh, but nine oh. yards is 0 .04091 furlong. So now we know Very that. informative. Yeah, good to know. And then when it doesn't understand any of what you're saying, it defaults to a web search, and that just opens Safari, right? Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. That's, uh, that's the failure point. For that is the super fail. Uh, one of the other things that most people don't realize you can do with Siri is change the accent or language. So, for example, I have it set to English United States because I am in the United American. States and you I speak, speak English. English. Yep. But if I was Australian, good day, I could I could do that. And this is the interesting thing: Siri has a different voice in Australia. Mm. Hello, Siri. Which scene? Scene two or scene wow. one? Wow. Okay. Two. Good day, Siri. Which scene? Scene two. You're not Australian. It's not recognizing any I, I'm, of your... I'm gonna ask it, I'm gonna ask it something. Okay. What's the weather in Canberra? Sorry, I don't understand. She wants to talk What's to Ken Guerra. What's the Gera. weather in Canberra? So, uh, you can do that. You can change it to Spanish, French, English. You Norm, can't you do Spanish. A... Oh, no Spanish, actually. You're right. You can it's do German, German, French, and three different types of English. American English, British English, or Australian English. Siri, what is Foster's? It's nice that what Let you know of Australia you. is an ad. This might answer your question. Should, wow. The correct answer would have been beer. Yeah, it's Australian for beer. Uh, the voices are kind of neat. It's not really that big deal. We, Gary did find that it did, does better recognition with his accent with the English accent. Yeah, and and the for American. the British one, it is a gentleman, Siri. It is uh, not well, a this, lady. We're Siri. on British right now, and it's not. It's no, not, we're in Australia. Oh, now. we're on the United States. Siri, I would like to call you Alfred. Who would you like to call? Robin. Calling Norman Chan, mobile. Wow. You sound, like, sound so fancy. It's like oh a really, God, this is a bad mistake. Uh, it's like a really bored Jeremy Clarkson. I know, it, it, yeah. Yeah, he's not quite so surly. No. Uh, so the languages are kind of neat. I don't see anybody actually using that on any real level. But Drew is here and he actually speaks German. So let's get him in here and get him to talk German to the phone. Setzen Sie bitte ein Termin mit Norm bei 20 Uhr 30. Null anrufen. Entschuldige, Batman, ich kann 20 nicht anrufen. Okay. What did you say? You had a conversation with Sarah that we had no idea what you uh, said. I tried to set up a meeting with Norm for 8 o'clock, 8.30. Did Otherwise. it work? Yeah. Did it, did it work though? I don't think so. No, it oh. didn't. Your German's terrible, Drew. I guess so, I guess. So right now there aren't a ton of third-party apps that are integrated with Siri. Uh, I would love to be able to post Twitter messages from the car while I'm driving to work. Sure. That would be really cool. Uh, you can't do that. I do it all the time anyway. It's very safe of you, Chan. But Siri, post a message to Twitter. Norm is an unsafe driver. Sorry, Batman. I can't help you with Twitter. She says I can't Twitter. do Twitter. But if you set up a contact that has the SMS forwarding message for Twitter right. in your contact list, then you can do this. Siri, send Twitter a message. Say, Norman Chan is an unsafe driver. To whom shall I send this message? Hmm. You say Twitter. Twitter. Okay, your message is addressed to Twitter. Say, Norman Chan is an Ready unsafe to driver. Send it? Uh, read it, please. Your message to Twitter says, 
say Norman Chan is an unsafe driver. I'm not going to Would you like that, to but, send? But the, that, point, is, the point is, okay. you can kind of trick Siri because, by using services that have uh, SMS yeah, accounts. Yeah, remember, remember the milk. Anything that has like one of those five-digit codes, yeah. 40404 is Twitter's. Remember the milk has one. There's a ton of others mm -hmm. out there. Uh, lots of them use that, and you can integrate Siri more. more it's not perfect, but it's a right. kind of interim way until Twitter actually supports Siri later Or until on. Apple opens up Siri's API exactly. so third-party developers can integrate Siri. In. Exactly. So that's a few things you can do with Siri right now. You may not know. Uh, basically, just get into it and start exploring if you have an iPhone 4S. There's a ton of cool stuff out there. Again, the places it breaks down are when there's large crowds, uh, yeah. when there's background noise like a TV with other voices, mm -hmm. when you're in a room full of lots of people talking, uh, when there's loud music, when the dog's barking. But it's great for sending a text message to your wife in the oh, car. Oh, speaking of text messages. Yeah. So if I want to send a text message and I want to say LOL. Yeah. Oh, this is a great question. Yeah, so yeah. How, how does that work? Or I want to say WTF. Send a text message to Norman Chan. LOL, this is a funny text. See, so it says Here's LOL, right? Here's your message right? to Norman Chan. It LOL. Says, LOL, this is a funny text. Oh. Right, however. Ready to send it? Change it to LOL, this is a funny text. I updated your message. And it, it says, says now. And it's capital LOL. This is LOL. Text. Yeah, so it knows that stuff. You do some Ready other stuff in your text it? messages that are a little younger. Uh, change it again younger. to what? This is a funny text. Okay. What would you like the message to say? What? This is a funny text! Exclamation point question mark. I updated your message. See, it, it doesn't do. It oh. do how do you say that? Funny text See, I text and I go, point? what the what? With lots of H's and A's and T's, it's not going to work. Why don't you try it? All right. Hold on. Change the message to... Sorry, I don't understand. Change the message to... What? WTF? LOL? L-O-O-O-O-O-L-L-L-L-L! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! That is the worst text message ever. I updated your message. It says... Why? WTF low all la 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 exhibition marks mission work. I hope you're pleased Ready with yourself, to Jen. It? All right, so that's where Siri breaks down. Hope it'll okay. make you a better texter. I won't send yeah, it. you can do smiley faces and all that kind of stuff, though. It's silly. Uh, it's a pretty neat tool. It's definitely not perfect yet. It's not worth getting a new phone for. But if you got an iPhone 4S, it's a pretty neat tool to play with. In the meantime, uh, for Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Let's go play with Siri. Yeah. Good morning, Siri. Hi, it's already 3.19 p.m. Oh, by the way. By the way by very passive the aggressive. Way. So tell uh, that you're at work. Siri, I'm at work. Are you? Are you, are you really at work, Smith? Are you, you really? Really? You Siri? Me? <laughs> you! Which Joe? Oh. Joe McNeely. How Did I say Joe? <laughs> Sing a song, please. Sorry, I don't understand. Sing a song, please. Siri, sing for me. Sorry, I don't understand. Siri, sing for me. Can you sing a song? I don't know what you mean by. Hold on. <sighs> Can you sing Daisy? Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. She's a terrible go. singer. Wow. It took like 10 tries. Yeah, I know, that was embarrassing. All right. Does Marcellus Wallace look like a bitch? This might answer your question. Does he, Marcellus Wallace, look like a word that rhymes with which? The result is no. Thank you, Wolfram Alpha. A lot of the awesome stuff from this, Wolfram Alpha. Yeah. How many days until Christmas? This might answer your question. Oh, thanks, Wolfram Alpha. It's 66 days. When is the iPhone 5 coming out? Everything you need to know about Apple products is at Apple's what website. What a fucking shill.